your interaction with Rosie and getting to know her family, her partner and her children, mm -hmm. how has that colored your opinion on gay rights? Like the right to marry, for instance. Rosie and Kel, have, uh, they have adopted these children and brought Vivi into this world. And if to be able to witness to that and see the love in their family is it's outstanding and especially when we're in a situation in this in this world where there are so many children that need a loving home I always say there are probably heterosexual couples that really are qualified to right. have children so you, know. you would be in favor of legalizing gay marriage um, in instances especially you know you hear Rosie explain when she was in the hospital or and Kelly wanted to get her they had to sign off one of their kids you know was hurt and in a hospital and because their last name wasn't the same and because they weren't the, the legal um, guardian it, it's so complicated I do believe that in this day and age we need to reevaluate and think about what is best for the children and honestly, what is best for the two adults involved? Obviously, no one's denied the right to marry. Right. You could marry someone of the opposite sex, but if that is not what, is, if that's not the relationship you're in, you're in trouble. Then legally, right. you're you're in trouble because when it comes to things like money and taxes and children and guardianship, it's a very sticky and muddy, unclear situation, which pool. is why it needs to be worked out. And I think that you're you're representative of a progressive group mm -hmm. of conservatives and. I guess my question to you is why do you think that the Republicans, I'm not asking you to speak for them, mm -hmm. but as a majority, the Republican Party has such a problem with gay people and giving equal civil rights. I don't think, I honestly don't think as a whole the Republican Party has a problem with gay people. I think it's just more in legislation. I think when the movement to redefine marriage and how, it, how it's been defined from the beginning came about, you know, to have six, six extreme judges and radical judges make the decision um, for the country. That seems to be, in my opinion, the role of the court, which is to fix injustice even if it means going against the popular will. Sometimes you'll get segregation and mm -hmm. Brown v. Board of Education. Right. Would you characterize the Supreme Court then as making an extreme activist decision to abolish segregation when, no. you know, if they had taken a popular vote in the country at that time, it probably wouldn't it, have it been probably wouldn't have passed. Probably not. I'm just, I'm not saying that that is the way I, I'm just saying that is why the reaction was the way it was. Well, but it's interesting because I think that the, I think that the conservatives usually use that as a talking point, mm -hmm. the extremist judges mm -hmm. argument. When you look at an example over in California where the legislature has mm -hmm. actually passed it and is speaking for the people mm -hmm. and Schwarzenegger says he wants to turn it over to the courts. So mm. it's kind of like, I feel They'll like toss it back they're tossing so that's it an back and forth. individual who's chosen to do that. I would think that it should be, if that's what this country wants, through our laws, um, then that's how it should be. When you look back at history, you kind of think, what side of history would you like to be on? Mm -hmm. And I, like, I look back at like, the people that were pro-segregation mm -hmm. back in the 50s, right. and I think, wow, I'm sure their children are. Well, it's, it's also something that I think I would challenge people who don't know um, someone or maybe haven't chose, chosen to spend time with someone who's gay to get to know them and right. really you know even and I can say that from experience like, Your I have Rosie's friends relationship who are, are gay yeah, Rosie example. and other friends yeah. too I, I know them so it's it's much more easy to not know someone not engage with someone on a daily basis and then go on a campaign to shut down um, rights and also morally condemn